Two at four, we've learned a man who hit three children with his car is accused of injecting heroin 14 minutes before it happened. This is video of a distraught Ryan Lisbeth in the back of an ambulance. Channel 2 investigative reporter Erica Byfield live in downtown Atlanta with the other information she uncovered. Erica. Well, Aaron, he is now facing a murder charge. And if you take a close look at his criminal record, something should jump out at you. He is a repeat offender. Fulton County District Attorney told us that got his attention. And what people are wondering is why isn't the court system doing something about that person? Fulton County's district attorney told us he has those thoughts too. Atlanta police charged Ryan Elizabeth with murder in mid April after they say that he lost control of his car on Joseph E. Boone Boulevard near Mason Turner Road and hit a couple cars and then plowed into three children on the sidewalk. Two survived. Nine year old Isaiah Ward died. He had everything to live for. He had people that love him. The newly released police report provides insight into what happened that day. An officer wrote Elizabeth injected heroin at 6.45 p.m. and crashed at 6.59 p.m. DA Paul Howard called the accident troubling. And then you look at that defendant's record and you discover he's a repeat offender. Records we sorted through show Elizabeth has a history of drug trouble in Fulton County. Through the years, judges mandated he get treatment. During his recent court appearance, we learned that he was living in a treatment facility at the time of the accident. Howard told us it may be time to ensure repeat offenders get time behind bars. Why are they out in the community being allowed to cause this kind of harm and destruction? In addition to the murder charge, he's facing a list of other charges that include reckless driving. Channel 2 Action News is working on a series of stories about repeat offenders. Today at 5 o'clock, or 5.45 specifically, we are looking at what happens when the state has an officer shortage and they need to keep track of the felons within the state. Look at that. You'll see that tonight during F Channel 2 Action News at 5. Reporting live downtown, Erica Byfield, Channel 2 Action News.